Hello, this is Brian with BSintech.com. Today I'm bringing you part two of the video on the rain barrel system that you place just underneath your gutters. By putting it up in the air, you give yourself more pressure and more gravity flow, so that way there's more pressure when you're pushing the water out of the pipe. Now for this section, it's putting together the actual rain barrels to put on top of the platform. What you're going to need is a lot of PVC fittings, and some other utensils and tools that you are going to also be using. First off is a 2 inch male threaded PVC adapter. This part will screw into the top of one of the holes here. Next is some regular 2 inch PVC pipe. You'll need about 3 feet of that total. You'll have some PVC cement that will glue all of the PVC parts together. You need some pliers so that way you can Tighten one of the holes on top of each barrel. There's two holes in each barrel and you need to make sure that one of them is tight because since these will be flipped upside down, all of the water will be pushing up against this. If it's not tight, you will have some leaks. That's good and tight. Next is a two inch PVC T connector. Now, since I already have a rain barrel system and I'm adding on to it, all I need are these T-connectors. The T-connector, I've already got this male threaded in the pipe here, or in the hole, and this will sit on top just like this. Now, the very first barrel and then the very last barrel will have a 90 degree elbow because the PVC pipe goes through here to connect all your barrels, and then at the very end, it needs to elbow into that barrel, and then on the other side, you will also go into that barrel as well. Other things you need is some screen mesh, some silicon sealant, some tin snips or something that will cut your screen mesh, and what they call a PVC union. This PVC union will allow you to unhook each of the barrels. It has a threaded side and the female side with a rubber o-ring in here. And when these are all connected, this will go about right there and then you'll connect the pipes together and that way for maintenance or cleaning you can take the barrels apart independently. And then you're going to just need a tape measure. Now I've already pre-cut most of these but what you need are these small little pieces. They're about one and a half inches long and what these do is they slip in to that and then that will hold your T-connector on and then you'll use some PVC cement, but I'll get to that here in a minute. Now one thing I wanted to show you, and I've had a couple comments about this on some of my other videos, is on top of these barrels there is a coarse threaded with very coarse threads. The, this is the one that you want to tighten in and make sure you keep in the barrel. Now this one is a very fine threaded, and this is what the 2 inch PVC male thread will be using for. It's the very fine. Part, and that's what went in here. Now also on these pole, or on these tops, there's another rubber O-ring. It's very important that you use this rubber O-ring on your two inch threaded pipe here. So you'll put that around there. And then you'll just screw it in place. Okay, so I'll go ahead and demonstrate by putting that in there and then you have your other T-connector. The T-connector goes here. Notice how I have the barrels. I have the hole on, both, on the same side. So this one seems further away, but that's so that you don't have them together like that. There's not enough room there to put your union and some of the other PVC. So these are the pieces I've already pre-cut. This will go in that way. And this goes in here. And then you have your union that you put in between. So this is pretty much how it's going to look like, except this, remember, will be the bottom when you flip these up. So I'm going to go ahead and glue these parts in using a PVC cement. With the PVC cement, you'll go all the way around your pipe and then you'll put it in here and twist it as you push down. This will make the cement 
be even around the fitting. So there's one. Now you continue gluing on all of your pieces and I'll continue to do that off of the show or off the movie. So I'll be right back with you and I'll show you when it's all put together. Hi everybody, welcome back. Now we have finished the uh, PVC cement on both sides here. Now I did one at a time as I twisted it in place. This allows the PVC cement to make a nice ring around each surface to make it impermeable to water. So after I left it sit like this for five minutes, then I twirled this side with the PVC cement, put this side on, and then let it sit for five minutes. And the same thing with this piece here. Now we're gonna go ahead and attach this part to the little piece here and add it in. Now with this, it's very important that you have a very good foundation and base so that it's really squeezed together. So that's why I waited to, to do this until last. So again, you'll just take your PVC cement and do the same thing. Make sure you put a whole bunch on here. Try not to get your fingers. And then put it in the hole and do the twist. And then add this and also twist as well. Okay, so that part is in, and now we'll do the same with this one. And there you have it. So there's the PVC part of making the system. Uh, this will allow all the barrels to be together, and this again will be turned upside down, so as the water's coming in from the top of the barrel, it'll go through these pipes and then fill the barrels up evenly. So I'll be right back, and next we're going to drill some air holes in the top of these barrels. So that allows the, the air to escape as the barrels are being filled up. Okay, now for the last bit, we need to make the air hole or the uh, spout where the air can escape as the water is filling from the bottom up. So I have now turned the barrel over and I just have a 5 8 drill bit. You can use whatever size you'd like, but you'll just make a hole in the barrel. And this is where you'll use your tin snips or something that will cut your screening. So I have this screening, and the point of using the screening is to keep the mosquitoes from getting in. So the screening will go just over the top, and that's where I'll use some of the silicon sealant. And I'll make a bead all the way around the hole here, and then put the screening over it. And that's it. So I have one of the rain barrels done, and I'll just hook it in sequence with the other ones that I already have done. So thank you for watching. This is Brian with BSNTech.com.